Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why Weber's stress is lateralized to the affected here. The catch here is it is lateralized to the affected here in case of conductive deafness. We will try to understand the reason behind it. First of all, let's see what is Weber's test. Weber's test is a tuning fork test wherein you strike the prongs and then put it in the midline and ask the patient in which side he is hearing better. So we are going to ask him whether it is equally heard on both sides or any one side is it is heard louder. In case of conductive deafness, usually the patient feels that he is hearing louder on the affected ear. What is the reason behind it? The reason behind is pretty simple. So whenever any ear is affected due to conductive deafness, the point here is whenever the ear is affected due to conductive deafness, what happens is suppose if I have conductive deafness, it is it, it will be like just blocking this ear. So what happens when you put the prongs, the sound is transmitted on both sides, but this side there is no external influence or the background noise which is affecting this ear. So what will happen? The sound will be better here in this affected ear. It is just like masking this ear and hearing the sound. So what will happen? It will be heard louder in case of the affected side. Whereas in case of sensory neural deafness, it can get lateralized to the normal side also. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. We'll see in the next video. Thank you.